Hi, I'm Ian Cartwright, and this is 60 Seconds of Sales. Do you communicate or procrastinate? We all know what it feels like when we contact a business and they don't get back to us. And your customers are no different. In my experience in sales, there's two roadblocks around bad news and actually responding in the first place. Now, customers don't like bad news, but they certainly don't like not knowing bad news. And I can promise you, the longer you leave it to communicate bad news, the worse it will get. So own it. Get in touch with your clients as soon as you know the news and let them know. That way they know that you've got their back. And although it might not be all that great at the moment, the outcome will take care of itself and you'll actually end up growing your relationship with your clients. The second part of it is responding. Now, often you'll get emails from clients that will require you to do some work for them before you can get back to them. Now, you might not have time to do that work right now, but what you may have time to do is quickly call your customer and say, hey, thanks, Bob, just got your email. I've got a couple of things to do today, but I'll get back to you by tomorrow. Will that be okay? Phone call's always best. In the meantime, if you can't make a phone call, send them a holding email. Say, hey, Bob, just got your email. Thanks very much. I'll come back to you tomorrow with more details. Make sure you're controlling that conversation and that your customer is not left hanging. Remember that 50% of orders generally go to the first responders. So communication is key. Please feel free to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. But until next time, keep being real, keep being a problem solver.